So here we have this Whirlpool fridge, smart fridge, and it says we need to replace the filter. So that's what we're going to do. Here I have the filter here. You can read some of that on there if you want. This is what it looks like. So now, I want to open up the fridge. Ignore the stuff in here. And the filter door is right up there, so we're going to lift this up. And we're going to pull this out. This is the old filter. So we can set that aside because we're not going to need that anymore. Now, we're going to take the new filter. Once you've got the packaging off, you can take this purple thing off because you won't need that. And now, um, this goes a certain way. So I believe it goes like this should go like that. This one doesn't have an arrow on it like that does. So, um, actually no. It goes this way. Yeah. It goes this way. Okay, yeah. So just like this, you stick it in. And you push it in as far as you can go. And then you push the door closed as hard as you can. good there. So let's go ahead and close this. Now what you want to do is you want to reset the filter. So filter reset button, hold three seconds. And now it's been reset. But now what you want to do is you want to grab a big cup and you want to run it. It's all cloudy now. So you want to do that and then dump it out. You want to do this a few times. Let's do this one more time, should be good. Also another thing you want to do while you're doing this, is you want to start and stop it a few times, like this. You want to do that a few times.
It's not looking so cloudy anymore. Well, it's still a little cloudy, but it will eventually fade away. Alright, that should be good. So, I think that's going to be good for now. Only button. Well, that's going to be it. That was how you replace a filter in a Whirlpool Sixth Sense fridge. That's going to be it.